Getting a plot out of Julia should be as simple as calling one function, say fig, that saves the current plot into a file that you can use in another program, a file such as a PNG graphic or a PDF. I'm going to go through in this video how to extract that, uh, how to plot to a file in Julia from the REPL and then how to use that plot. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've, I've imported all the packages that I'm going to use and then I'm going to set up the plot. Uh, we're going to use this uh, Atom and REPL and then show you where it's saved. So I'm new to Julia myself. I've been programming for about 15 years and this is my chance to learn about Julia and share what I've learned with the community to help other people who might be going through a similar journey at the moment. So the very first step I've done is to import the three packages that I'm going to use today, plots, data tables and Excel files. In a previous video, I loaded in uh, to a data table this Excel file about the births in New Zealand. So I'm going to set that up again now. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is pretty much what it says there. Uh, rather than use this script that I've used in the past, I'm going to type it out again so that you can see how I'm getting this plot set up. So we're importing our Excel table, our Excel sheets. Then we're going to set up our plot. So I'm using the data tables package rather than the data frame ones simply because it's a bit simpler. Uh, oh, what mistake have I made? Oh, right. I haven't put a string in the sheet name. So the second argument to the load function, which comes from Excel files, is the sheet name, which I've called 30 in this case. Uh, if you're interested in that previous video, uh, take a look at my channel and those previous videos are there. So this is the data table that's been loaded in. Uh, now we can plot this data table using just the data table syntax. Title equals New Zealand. So I'm printing the New Zealand births by mothers uh, by mothers age 30 to 34. That's why the sheet was named 30. I've extracted the, that in the previous video. Uh, X label is year. Y label equals births. Okay, and shortly our plot should appear here. So if you're interested in that video, I've, I've run through putting this script together and then uh, running this script in a previous video. So the plot will come up in a second, uh, hopefully not too much longer, because then once the plot is up, you'll notice that I didn't unfortunately save the plot, because there are a few different ways to call the save fig function. So uh, I didn't assign the plot to anything, which means that the REPL is currently working to print this plot here, which is why it's taking a bit longer. My computer's a bit overloaded by having by recording this video, <laughs> recording the audio, and, record, and uh, trying to calculate this plot. I found plots in Julia to be quite uh, intense, I guess. Uh, and that's why I'm not sure what sort of information is included, but they do come out as a PNG in the end, so it shouldn't be too much. So you can see down here in the bottom, we've got our plot of uh, New Zealand births by mothers aged between 30 and 34. Over the years, it's, it's gone up in recent years. Okay, and the function we're going to use is save fig. So save fig has two uh, methods. One is to call with a plot and an abstract string, and the other is to call with the abstract string. So I'll try the abstract string first, the second method, because uh, according to the documentation, this should use a recent plot and save that by the file name that we pass as a string here. So save fig, uh, let's call it nz births. And now it's saved the file, but we're not too sure. I wasn't too sure where it's saved to. So what I did was print the working directory, pwd, which is Julia's way of saying where the recent, uh, where the REPL is working, where files are saved and read from. So this C uses Chris sample. Oh, I can even open it from here. I did open this file down, I did open this folder earlier down here uh, because I trial run this video before I hit record. Uh, however, if we click open there, oh, permission done. Okay, so I've got, I've got this folder open here. New Zealand births is saved, so we open that up. 
and we've got our plot right there. So it looks looks quite good. So you can see that even though I didn't assign, uh, even though I just gave the save fig function this nz birth string, uh, it knew to save it as a PNG. That was the default. And it also knew that the recent plot was just the last plot that I printed here. So I'm going to try this save fig again. You, you might see in that uh, folder that I had some PDFs. So I'm going to try this save fig again with a PDF. .pdf. All I've done is specify the .pdf as part of the file name. And then Julia should open it up as nz, uh, Julia should save it as nzbirths.pdf, which eventually comes up here. Yep, there we go. So this is the PDF that can be included. It can be used in uh, LaTeX. Uh, I believe EPS is also an option for use in LaTeX. So I'll close that. Now the other way is to assign a plot to something, assign the plot to a variable and then save fig using the variable. So I'm gonna call my plot P, just quickly run through the same plot function that I've got above. I usually find that when typing, or when programming typing isn't the sort of thing that I get held up on, I'm used to typing out Oh, I had a typo in New Zealand up there. I'm used to typing out everything because I find that thinking about the way a program flows is the most uh, time consuming part of programming. Thinking about the data analysis or the interface or uh, the flow of information or uh, the behavior of the program is more important than actually typing. I was, um, I found it a bit odd when I saw a uh, ad on YouTube recently that for a product that saves this little bit of typing, because this little bit of typing isn't typically what, what stops my programs from working. So I've done that there. Uh, I might actually make that a bit different. I might, oh yes, yes, so I fixed the typo. Uh, and now Julia has also plotted that down here where I fixed the typo, uh, New Zealand births, New Zealand, New Zealand births. So the other way to call the save fig function is simply to save fig and then the plot and then the file name New Zealand births fixed. Let's call it .png just to be explicit. So once we save fig like that, go back to our working directory and New Zealand births fixed is right there. So New Zealand births by mothers age 30 to 34. So that's the basics of how to save a plot, how to get a plot out of Julia and saved onto your file system. Uh, once it's out of Julia as a PNG or a PDF, it can be included in LaTeX or Word documents or something else uh, to that effect and can be used as another file. So, so that's the basics of how to pull a plot out of the REPL and save it on your file system for use in Word or LaTeX or some other presentation method. So the save fig function comes as part of the plots package. If you're interested in how I set up the plots in the first place, check out my other videos. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.